just returned from uh, the local calls. They had a special 20% off coupon. I got myself uh, this espresso maker true. I never heard that before, but I saw a few good reviews. So we're going to do uh, unboxing and we're going to look together what's inside. We're going to try it and test it. I would like to do this. Uh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I am a chef Giuseppe Urbano with Meals for Longevity. Mealsforlongevity.com and I was looking just this morning about how important coffee is for the longevity. You can find more information on my website under the 15 uh, suggestions that I give in order to extend the life expectancy. So, because my uh, espresso machine uh, after two years is just uh, blow up, blew up, I think you say. I wanted to try a different brand and uh, I was not very crazy. Even if it was an Italian brand, I will not say which one. Anyways, let's try this. I think it came with uh, 180 days of uh, return policy in case it's broken. Uh, they told me if I use it, then uh, I cannot return it unless it's broken. But let's start looking what's inside. I paid uh, with a coupon uh, about $97. So the price is good. All right. So they claim it's 15 uh, bars of uh, pressure. Um, the picture is nice. So when you open inside, there is um, an instruction manual to go through as all the parts, all the instruction, how to brew the coffee, how to make the cappuccino, because this makes the cappuccino too. And then also how to maintenance uh, the machine. That it says that's minimal, minimal maintenance. Uh, the scaling once every six months for normal use. So I already read this. There is, you should read it like I did. So then, uh, the box, uh, let's pull it out. It's a small machine, but that's okay. As long as it works well, I'm looking for a, a machine that does the, the coffee creamy. Let's see together what's inside. So there's another box. It's not a magic wand, but there is the filter. There is a filter for a single espresso. I guess, yeah, it's got the hole. This is the spoon. This is to um, press the coffee. And there is the espresso hand. There is the filter for two. That's all. Let me see. I have experience. Let's see if this locks. Not really, let's see, it looks like this. So I guess when you want to remove the coffee, you gotta do this. Other brands, they lock this in. But let's try, you know? Maybe this works too, it's plastic. So it's, it's sturdy, should not be have any problem. So what else? So single espresso, double espresso. The other thing that I read on the manual it says that as two interesting things, there is a, a red dot over here that will show the uh, over 
are flowing. Sorry, English is not my first language. But when a lot of water drippings comes here, this goes up, it tells you that's time to empty this. And this is pretty big. It's good. Some other brands that I will not say the name till now comes with a tiny one. This is as also two option it says that's manual, I guess over here. Manual control and um, uh, electronic control, single espresso, double power. What else is this? I guess this is the manual and this is for the stem. And what's on the side? Um, I guess I have to play with that. I didn't read that very well. I guess this is for tea, <clears throat> I believe. But the good thing about it, as a water reservoir over here that you can remove, this is good. That's what I was looking for. I like my water to be clean because uh, clean water is good for me and it's good for my coffee. But you can always, you can remove it and fill it or you can uh, add the water from, from here from the top. So this is pretty good. This part gets hot. It's, it's plastic. Light metal, metal, light metal. So you can tell it's not the premium quality, but also the price is, is good. But as long as it works for more than two years and it makes good coffee, it's good enough for me. I usually have uh, two espresso in the morning. And then uh, when I'm off, that doesn't happen often. I have an espresso also after lunch. And uh, never have espresso after four o'clock, just because I like to sleep well and uh, I don't want to use caffeine. But that's what I need it for. Free espressos a day maximum. So about, about a thousand espresso a year and I'll be happy. So we're going to take a break and uh, I'm going to get this ready and uh, we're going to test it. All right. So I prepared the machine. I got some water. Um, the cord is a little short or maybe it's okay. It's not too short, but it's not very long. So I don't know how many, it's, it's like, long like my arm. Okay, look. So let's fill this in. I'm just using regular water. There is a max uh, line, so this is good. Especially for people like me that early in the morning, they're still asleep till the first espresso. I'm going to plug this in. All right, there is a bit. I guess I'm going to wake up people in the family. But let's power this on. Wow, blue light. Very fancy. So it's supposed to warm up. Let's see how many seconds. One, two, three, four. I think we're about 15 seconds from now. In the meantime, I have two cups. We're gonna try this. I'm not a professional barista, or whatever they call it, but I like my coffee. That's good in the morning. So you can make two. Let's see how many seconds it takes to warm up. Have some ground coffee. Hello? I have to decide if I'm gonna turn this on before I go to the 
back from or after. So most likely, yeah, about, I don't know how many seconds. So I don't have the counter, but I think it took less than a minute. So let's put some coffee. We're gonna tap it. Yes, we're gonna clean it. Let's see how we put it in. Again, I'm doing this the first time, and so we'll do this together. But it seems pretty good. And we're gonna try, let's try the big one just to see. And we're gonna try just a, a one a short. Let's see what's going on. I would like to see some cream. Let's see, do we see some cream coming out? The cream is from the, the coffee. Come on, you can do it. Hello, good morning. Let's try one more time. Uh, maybe because we we're just opening, we we're just using it for the first time. I guess maybe the, the water has to go through the cycle. Let's try one more time. Because over here I see water going in. Tank is in. Let's try the manual because there is a manual setting. I'm sure it's just a matter of the water going in into the machine for the first time. All right, yes, and we have some cream. Wow, look at this. Mmm, it smells good. So I guess I'm using the manual. And this is how I turn it off. Yeah. All right, this makes me happy. Oh, it looks creamy. Yeah. I actually think this works better than my Italian machine. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going to test it out for a couple of days and maybe we'll meet together one more time. I give an update and we try the cappuccino machine for the moment it worked. So I wanted to do this for you because it was a good price because it's not a name brand and um, in order to give you a little bit more information of what you get when you buy this. Okay, go to mealsforlongevity.com. Again, read the why uh, coffee is very important for you, coffee, tea. Mealsforlongevity.com is a website that we have uh, recipes for the Mediterranean diet. And uh, we are unique in the world because we have uh, a calculator, life expectancy calculator. You can check it out and see um, what's your expectancy of life is. And also we have a, a Mediterranean uh, diet, a weekly meal plan uh, DIY uh, tool where you can put together the recipes and uh, come out with uh, your weekly menu. All right, bye from Chef Giuseppe and I'll see you for the next video. Again, we're gonna try the cappuccino. I'm gonna give you some update after a few days. Ciao.